In this video, we're going to use both principles, both the addition principle, which we're adding and subtracting to solve, and the multiplication principle. And with that principle, we're multiplying and dividing to solve. So what we have here is 2 times some number, so we've got it multiplied, plus a 3, there's the addition, equals 11. Our goal is to find that number. You can run through and guess that one. So if you've guessed it, see if your answer matches our answer. When we're solving them that have both a multiplication and a sum, our goal is to get our x terms on one side of the equation and our constants, which would be our numbers, on the other side of the equation. So as I look at this, I notice that I've got a single x term, which is 2x, so that can stay where it is, but I've got two numbers, constants. One is on the left, and that's a 3. One is on the right, and that's 11. So I'm going to go ahead and take that first step of getting the 2x on one side, but then I'm going to move the 3 over to be with the 11. Let me rewrite the 2x plus 3 equals 11. I don't want the 3 here. It's being added, so we subtract. I get 0 plus 3 minus 3 is 0. That leaves me with a 2x only on the left. On the right, I have 11 minus 3, which is 8. So now I have isolated the x term, which means that I'm ready for step number 2, and that's to isolate x. As you're moving through these, you'll notice that for the most part, but as they get complicated, you might mix things up a little bit. For the most part, you're going to, you're going to add or subtract first using the addition principle, and then you'll multiply or divide second. That's exactly what we need to do next. We have 2 times x equals 8. I want x all by itself. It's being multiplied by the 2. To undo that, I do just the opposite, and I divide by a 2 on both sides, which leaves me with these cancel. I am left with an x on the left and a 4 on the right. Now that I've got x isolated, I have my answer. x equals 4 is my solution. Let's do a quick check on this one. My original equation, oh, there it is right there, was 2x plus 3 equals 11. So I need 2 times x, which I think is 4 based on my work. So that number that we found was 4. So 2x plus 3, I want to know if that is in fact 11. Okay, 2 times 4 is 8, plus 3 is 11. So that checks. So we know that x equals 4 is our solution.